Hello and welcome. This is your host, the Montana Guy. As you can see, I have some uh, tools in front of me. Uh, some of them are pocket knives. Uh, a couple of them are the knives that I had previously um, did informational videos for. If you're interested in looking at them, there'll be a link at the end of this video that can take you to them. Um, but for the majority of this, it's going to be talking about one specific one specific knife um, that I have used for the past oh, I don't know three four years um, when I was over the road and I still use to this day every day um, there's always a I always have it on my side every day um, now this specific tool does have a leather sheath so that kinda takes these ones out of the picture so takes these ones out because I already did them so what we have left the Leatherman Wave okay as you can tell this is the sheath it's kinda worn out um, I have used it um, like I said for every single day I've had this uh, knife pretty much attached to my side. Um, not every day, but pretty dang close for the past three, four years. Alright, so I'll go ahead and get started with the Leatherman Wave. Um, on their website, they do claim that it has 17 functions, or 17 tools, I'm sorry. I'm only going to count 16, and I'll explain why here in a minute. But this is the Leatherman Wave. Oops. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. Alright, so where to begin? Well, basically, um, we'll start from the outside, I guess. Um, it has four tools on the outside that uh, that do come in handy quite a bit uh, one of them is a serrated knife okay serrated knife it comes out and it locks um, I wouldn't trust my life on the lock of course but uh, it does lock in place and it, it stays pretty pretty decent um, like I said I wouldn't trust it but just be careful when you're using these knives and you don't have to worry about it. So that's a serrated knife. Okay, on this next side is two of the tools. Um, basically, as on one side a wood and metal file, which is right here. Okay, and then the other side has a diamond coated file. And I'll tell you what, um, I've used this quite a bit. I don't know if you can tell on here, but I do use them. Oops. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Yeah, I use those quite a bit. And that's on one side of the Leatherman Wave. That's on the side that says Leatherman Wave on it. That's on this side. On the other side, we have a couple other features and um, before I go on all four of these do lock um, I'll just show you again this is the file okay it's locked okay so on the other side where it says Leatherman Wave because <laughs> it says it on both sides um, is that an actual uh, straight blade And uh, if I remember correctly, both blades are uh, 420 HC. Again, it locks into place. Um, it's decent blade. Uh, it does have a, a burr on this side. 
on the outside of the blade a little bit. Um, but that's is what it is. I, I enjoy it. I like using it. Um, and again, like I said, it locks. Okay, but I wouldn't trust it. Um, just be safe when you're using these tools. Last on the outside is um, the saw. And as you can tell, I do use this one quite a bit. Um, when I'm outside enjoying nature, I need to cut a, a notch or saw my I use this quite a bit. Also on the back, it has a nice sharp spine on it so I can use my ferro rod. It does work uh, pretty well on that. Okay, so that is four of the um, tools all on the outside. Another tool that this has, they're, not, or they're calling a tool, is on the inside here, it's got inches, up to 8 inches, I believe it was. And then it also has uh, centimeters at the bottom. Uh, I think it goes up to like 19 centimeters. And it's an 8 inch ruler. Let's see if you can guys can see that. I don't know how well I can see it on here. But on the top, it has the inches. On the bottom, it has the uh, centimeters. <laughs> okay, so moving along on this section right here, you have the needle nose pliers, and you have the regular pliers, and it's not spring fed or spring recoiled. You have to manually move it back and forth. So anyways, it has the needle, and then the regular pliers. Um, and this next part is why I say it's 16 tools instead of 17. They're actually considering this next piece, which is the um, wire cutters. They considered a hard wire cutter and a regular wire cutter. Um, there's a little lip on here that... that I guess you can consider that being it, but I just count that as one. It's wire cutters. So, um, that's really about it on the, on this section right here. Um, again, you have the needle nose, the regular pliers, the, um, wire cutters. Um, they claim that it's heavy duty and, uh, regular wire. So moving along on the inside of here we have this first tool which is a uh, basically has a can opener and it's um, the bottle opener also I believe yeah, that's the can opener, bottle opener, and it also has the uh, wire strippers. Which you can't see too well, but right there. That's the wire strippers. Let's see if I can get it a little bit closer for you. Right there, that's, that's the wire strippers can opener and the bottle opener okay and again um, like the ones on the outside these all do lock um, there's a mechanism on the back you push down and that locks it or unlocks it and it locks press down and that's for all the tools on the inside as well uh, the next one is a medium screwdriver. You have a Phillips on one side, and then you can pull it out and get your straight. Um, this one I did kind of bend a little bit. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I do use them. And it still works out really nice. So, 
Again, it has. Just pull it out, put the next one in. Real easy. Okay, those two items are on one side, and then on the other side here, we have. the spring action scissors which are pretty nice um, I use these quite a bit too so that's the next one Again, you just press this little mechanism right here and it unlocks it okay now we have a large bit drive which is a uh, flat okay and then last but not least without further ado we have the last one it's kinda tricky to get into sometimes which is a small bit drive and when I say small I mean small can't tell too well but this is a flat side and this is the Phillips um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see that but it's got Phillips on one side and straight on the other one um, if you have glasses this is what, what you can use it for glasses or sunglasses or whatever so that is the Leatherman Wave. Okay. Um, some of the features are, you know, like I said, all those tools, um, except for the uh, pliers and then the wire cutters. Uh, all the ones that are inside and outside are all locking. Um, the outside is accessible has accessible features it also has the uh, one hand operable features basically meaning if you need a serrated or a regular knife it's one finger so you, you can use your other hand for doing whatever you need to do but um, same thing with serrated edge okay you can do it one handed so your other hand can be doing whatever it needs to be doing okay so that is the Leatherman Wave and uh, again I thank you all for watching this informational video slash review um, like I said I've had that for about three or four years so it is I guess you can call it a tabletop review um, it is a really good um, multi-tool to have. Uh, I enjoy using it. Um, like I said, it never goes off my side. The only time it does is when I'm in the airport, but I always have it in my um, uh, my main bag. That way I can always, you know, use it when I need it. So, again, thank you for watching. This is that Montana guy bringing you another uh, informational video. You all take care, stay safe, and enjoy the outdoors. There's a masterpiece just hanging outside my window